Hello everybody, my name is Nicola Dalmazzo. Uh, I'm working in Google since three years. Uh, oh, more people come, okay. Uh, so I'm working in Google since three years, and uh, before that uh, I was uh, working in big company, so Toyota, uh, L'Oreal in France, back in France. And I have the chance to manage like uh, um, media mix for big brand like uh, El Sev, El Viv. I don't know if you if you know the shampoo for for girls especially. Uh, and after that, I let's say passed the bar and went working in Google, uh, where I had to manage big companies, but also small enterprise back to France, so startups uh, and uh, local business. I have the chance so, to see the real change in media consumption. We all are like in this media consumption change. So before it was a lot of TV, people didn't have uh, um, access to internet. Uh, now everybody has access to internet, all time. Mobile is always in your pocket. It's the most important things, uh, maybe not the most important things, but one of the most important things uh, in your day. So um, looking from the both side, I really realize how hard it is for a company to change their behavior and their structure to live in this new, in new world, the digital world. And I really understood, uh, this I'm, I'm sure about that, how important is the role of agency. So the agency is very important for three things. First of all, the knowledge. People cannot have a knowledge about digital if this is not like their primary business. Second thing is, is support. So people, big company, but also small company, are like internal organization to run their business. And they cannot create sometimes like a proper organization to manage just digital. It to include the digital in each actions. And third thing is ex execution. It's a word that go very fast. If uh, company are not able to be like in a good direction and a good speed, they will lose a lot of opportunities. And this is even more true for small and medium enterprise that don't have like a big, uh, big structure, doesn't have a lot of money to, to invest. So I really believe that you can really help them to grow and to access to incredible opportunities in terms of business, in terms of contacts, in terms of conquering new markets and new uh, consumers. So my presence here is completely voluntary, so they asked me to come. Uh, I say yes because I really believe in, in, uh, in uh, this uh, uh, engagement program, and I really hope that uh, we will like, do our best to support you in the future. So let's start. So what we are talking uh, about today. Today I would like to introduce you a little bit about AdWord, what AdWord is talking about some uh, key terms and concepts. Um, after that, going a little bit more maybe in uh, account structure settings, so showing you a little bit how like uh, everyday work uh, of an agency should be, could be. Then talking a little bit about uh, bids and budgets, because uh, this is very important, especially for uh, your clients. And then uh, maybe giving you some uh, good results, some uh, business case that uh, we saw uh, in the past with, uh, with this engagement program. So, and of course, all this I hope uh, in a like, very interactive way. I'm, we are here like, to, to learn, but also to spend like, some good times, I hope. So, um, first of all, let's talk about so what is AdWords and the AdWords value proposition. So if we start very big, the Google uh, mission, let's say, is organize the world information and make it universally accessible and useful. So this is very, very broad. But if we talk about more AdWords and more search, and especially, search has the capability to give the people the piece of the puzzle, the piece of knowledge that they are looking for, and connect these people with advertisers that can give them solutions and products, or also information only. So basically, we are doing the same jobs of this media, but I would say better in the larger scales, for small business especially. 
what is Google uh, the, the biggest ability? It's really to connect consumers when they are looking for some information, when they are already in the funnel of purchasing or in this decision to, to invest uh, some money with marketers that are relevant solution and products for them. So how can an ad be better and more useful for the final user and more effective for, for our customers? Well, when your customers will ask you, uh, or clients ask you what is AdWords, there are some definitions. So AdWords is an online advertising product that can help you to attract new customers to your website and grow your business. And how does it work? But basically, you create an ads for your business, and AdWords has the ability to display them to the people that are searching for products or services like yours at the exact moment where they are looking for them. So all these words are very important. So we will go through each of them uh, in the presentation. But really important is the relevance. So we are showing an ads to a person that is already looking for these kind of products. So it's already like very focused on, uh, on this uh, kind of solution or products. We are showing in the right moment where it's focusing on, uh, on searching. And we can also very target the the, per the person, or we can really target, not the person, but more the, the, the place, the language, where my advertiser has the ability to give a solution, so deliver our products. But let's start really from, uh, from the basics. So first of all, where these ad shows? So each time there is somebody looking uh, for something in Google, so type in a queries, and by the way, Google has uh, more than uh, 100 billion search globally, so it's really a lot. And in many countries, it represents 80% uh, of the um, penetration of, um, of the search uh, uh, engines. So each time there is a, a, quest, uh, qu a question in Google, let's say a queries, we reserve a three slot maximum at the top and eight slot on the, on the side. So these slots, I say up to because uh, sometimes we don't have uh, enough advertisers, so not all the slots are taken. And sometimes the quality of the ads or the quality of the sites of these advertising are not good enough to appear on the first page. So we are not showing them. <coughs> so this is the first part. Sometimes also on the, on the, on the back, we are, we are trying to do like experiments. It's always uh, changing. But let's say the, the most important part is really the top level. So again, each time there is a, there is a queries, people searching for something, um, we are showing, so we are registering the keywords, and then we are showing an ad. If the ad is not clicked, the advertiser is not paying. So this is already amazing because we are showing, let's say for in average, for all of our advertiser, 80% of, uh, uh, of their ads are free because just, just appearing in the most, in the, one of the biggest sites in each country next to the queries, so the, the questions that is relevant for this business. Then after that, of course, comes the the part most interesting, that is, the people are interested in this product, decide that these ads is relevant for them, and so they click in the ad. At that moment, we are giving them direct redirection to the business, let's say, sites, so where the value proposition of your client can be shown. So really, this association between keywords adds a landing page, we call so the, the site landing page, is very important. It is the essential, let's say, structure of an AdWords um, ad. Again, why is important? It's important because the system gives you the possibility of a large reach. So real-time distribution at a massive scale. You can target all the world till uh, a small uh, suburban of a city. This is up to you, up your clients, what is relevant for your clients. Second thing is the relevance. 
your ad is seen only by prospects who are looking for what you, are, you, you have to offer. And the third thing is the ROI. Everything is completely clear, recorder, and you can show really the relationship between the money that you put, you put in, uh, in the system and the, the business that is created in the sites. It's okay. I'm going a little bit faster at the beginning, but then uh, there's going to be some interaction you will see in a, in a bit. So second thing, let's talk about some key terms and concepts. These terms are used like today like largely by media agency, by clients that start to be a little bit like educated. And also there are a lot of articles uh, that use these, uh, these um, uh, acronyms, let's say. So I would like just to, to show you. So it's very starting from very simple. So we have an impression. So impression is when an ad appears on Google. So again, I, I, I told you when there is uh, like a keywords that is a queries that is uh, done, then there is uh, some ads that appears. So this is an impressions. Impression are free. So the, the clients don't pay. Second thing is the click. So the click is when someone click on the ad, actually. At that time, you pay. So it's, then we have two more, let's say, a little bit advanced. Is CTR, so it's click to rate. So how many clicks uh, out on the total impression we have? This is very important. We will see why later. Because it's, a, let's say, an indicator of the quality of the ad. The most the people click on the ad, the most the, 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 the ad is relevant, related to these keywords, and also is, uh, like, let's say, appreciated by, by the, the people going on Google. And we are premium then. We are giving a premium to these ads. And the last thing is CPC. So it's cost per click. So how much I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really paying for each clicks. OK? This is some, uh, maybe b before you, you saw this uh, in some article, you didn't understand. I don't know. So um, but why? Uh, so. We saw before, like Google. We saw that uh, each uh, each ad, uh, uh, each time there is a query, uh, you can appear. So the question can be, why like large uh, corporation cannot just buy like the first position for the all the keywords that are relevant for them for all the year long? This is a possibility. I don't know. Like uh, L'Oreal can buy can buy the the keywords shampoo for one year and appear always on the first spot. Actually, this is not possible. Why is it not possible? Because these two smart guys created like uh, a system um, that is giving a premium on uh, uh, the uh, relevance of the ad and also created a, a bidding system that is open to everybody. So everybody is competing for one keyword on mo many, many different criteriums. Okay? I'm going to explain you which one. Basically, each time there is a keyword typing in Google, there is a lot of calculation that gives to each uh, advertiser that are in, uh, in, the, in the bid an ad rank. Ad rank is sort of scoring, okay? So telling you between all the ads which one is the best, let's say, okay? And the best ad will add like the first position. And then the second best will have the second position then the third position, fourth position, fifth position, till all the slots are taken. And again, sometimes not all these slots are taken because the ads is not at the good quality. It doesn't have the, the quality enough to appear to on the first page. So we, didn't sh we don't show it, OK? So what about this quality? So the quality, again, is related to two things. The first thing is the relevance, so what we call the quality score. The quality score is, let's say, a sum of many, many indicators that show how good is your ad related to the keywords. So let's take an example. If I, if I, I take, again, uh, I don't know, a motorbike, and so, I don't know, I have many motorbike uh, constructors that want to be there. But uh, one is, is not delivering, for example, uh, is not uh, present in the region. So I want to cover the region, but not, doesn't have any site in the region. He, he cannot 
have the same quality of another pro um, car, car dealer, for example, or motorbike dealer that is in the region, for example. So it has a site, proper site, and the proper ad, okay? So all these together give you a quality score. So another thing that I, I, I tell before also is the click to rate. So if an ad is click a lot, means that people like it, and so means that this ad, this ad is, the, is more relevant linked to these kind of keywords, okay? The second part is the willingness to pay. So again, is an open bid. So people are, each one has to say, also oh, how much my business allow me to, to pay for one keyword? There are multiple examples. For example, there are some media that uh, cannot pay a lot. Like they, they want to pay like, like 10 cents. And there are some, uh, I don't know, lawyer in the US uh, that for some kilos like car accidents, they are ready to pay like $50 for each click because they know that one person that is looking for that had maybe just had a, like a car accident, so you want to have a lawyer that defend uh, him and so on, okay? So there are multiple, multiple choice. And all these together are giving you also an ad rank again. And ad rank is linked to the position that it has in, uh, in, uh, in the Google page. So just another example, because you, you can say also, yeah, okay, so for, it's true, but at the end, if there is a big corporation that has a lot of, uh, um, a very good service present everywhere, a lot of money, so what about like the local business? How we can, I can find a place for this local business? Again, local business can have like a strong, uh, a strong advantage uh, with the, their localization. With, if the, you, you are able to create like very specific campaign uh, that are delivering so only in specific place where the business is relevant with the very relevant uh, ad text, uh, with the very good uh, ads that can be can compete with any international corporation and find a place in uh, in the Google uh, first page. Okay, this is some example. For example, we have uh, these two. Uh, uh, guys that uh, just open uh, like a new uh, new business. So there is Mario and Luigi. Mario want to produce, want to promote so its service, and uh, he already has like very good uh, websites. Uh, he deliver, uh, he can uh, do the business everywhere in uh, UAE, for example. Um, and he is willing to pay like 40, uh, 40 cents. Okay. And then there is Luigi. Luigi is just starting the new business, so he doesn't have a really a very good uh, sites. Uh, actually, he's not, uh, he's not giving like the telephone number uh, in the ads. Uh, he doesn't want to, it's just, um, he's appearing everywhere, but finally uh, he's just delivering uh, their service in Dubai, for example. So finally, but he, he, he would like, like to, be, to appear, so he just starts, he wants to put like more money, 65 cents for, for each click. But if we see the, like the, the bidding at the end, it's Mario that's winning, because the, com the combination of the two is giving Mario like a best position, so he's, he's appearing like in the first slots, okay? And we have like a lot of analysis that show that as highest is the ad, the most click it is. Okay, so each, each, in each competition, you should really try to put your, your client at the top uh, spot, okay? So why this system is good? It's good because it's really create, let's say, a good ecosystem where everybody's happy, let's say, because users get the best ads and not the ads from the, the people that pay the most and, good, and take the, the ads that is more relevant for the things that are looking for. The second part is publisher. Maximize the earnings with useful ads, and the advertiser are really able to maximize their ROI and competing with also big corporation or um, against each other. Just to go a little bit more in the detail of the quality score. So the quality score, as I say, I, I mentioned many things, but we can, uh, we can uh, summarize uh, them in, uh, let's say, five big ones. So the first one is the CTR, so how much the, 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 the ad is clicked historically, okay? The second one is the account history. Any account, when it's open, the system doesn't really know like, which is the association of, the, of these three elements, so the keywords, the ad, and the landing page. But with the time, it learns. So 
learning is going to have also a better quality score, and so it's giving you like better premium. Then we have landing page quality. Again, if I have a site that doesn't charge, then each time I go and then I have rebounds, then this is a poor ad, okay? And so on, relevance of the keywords, level of the keywords with the, with the match type, I can go forward, okay? So there is another very, very good thing uh, is that um, what about like the actual CPC? So how much at the end of all these, uh, let's say, uh, competition between all the advertisers, how much I'm going to pay at the end? This is very important. So Google is decided to uh, take the first one, so the ad rank number one, and say, okay, this is how much is he has to pay based on how much is the quality and how much is willing to pay, okay? And the second one is going to pay not how much he, he, he put. Maybe he had like very high, very high bid, but he's not paying this one. He's paying just one cent more of the top ad rank, okay? So it's really like a way to not like using completely the money. So it means that I, I'm, I'm betting maybe a lot, like three times more of the first person in, uh, in, the, in the first lot, but I'm not paying, if somebody click on me, I'm not, pay, I'm not paying three times more. I'm just paying one cent more of the first guy, okay? It's really a way to incentivate the good quality and not about money, okay? Quiz time. <laughs> so I have uh, for you, because uh, I don't want to talk all the time. I have some cool, uh, let's say, gift. A memory stick. Wow. Very cool, YouTube. Okay. Put there. So, who wanna play? Who want to be a Google Ads Pro? <laughs> so I'm gonna give you like first question. Uh, I have two questions, so this is the first uh, let's say quiz. So two possibility to win this amazing gift. Okay. First one. So what is the formula that AdWords used to rank ads on Google? I just show before. The first one is the maximum CPC, A. The B is maximum CPC per quality score, B. C, max CPC per budget. D, quality score per budget. D? Uh. B. Correct. Good. Very good. So, actually, the the ro I mean the journey to become a really ads pro is very long. Huh? But let's say we're starting to put some basic here. Okay. Second question. So very good. Second question: Which factor in AdWords has the most immediate control over position? Uh, we didn't really talk about this. So, so actually, uh, let's say I'm going to skip this one because I didn't, sorry, I didn't really talk about it before. So actually, it's max CPC. So there are, again, the two components. So we say the, CP, the max CPC and the other one was the, uh, the quality score, okay? So the problem is that in the short period, the quality score is something that is very difficult to, let's say, change, you know? Like, if today your advertiser has a poor site and uh, he never did the right campaign before, and then, uh, I don't know, uh, the, the, the products are not really relevant, uh, not very good, it's very difficult to change it immediately. So in a very short time, the max CPC, so how much you are willing to pay, it's, it's, it's the most, like, impactful things. But in long term, Remember that just maximum CPC will not help you any anyhow, okay? So I will put uh, this one uh, back uh, after, okay? Sorry, guys. So let's go forward. 
So we have uh, now this section is a little bit more, let's say, deep dive in account structure is setting. So it's things that if you sign in in, uh, in the program, I hope that everybody of you did, because they're going to be like biggest pride at this one. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, it's something that everybody of you is going to do like, let's say, every day or somebody in your, in your company, okay? So... First of all, let's see how does it work. So how the machine works from inside, okay? When you set a campaign, first things you have to do, of course, is to open an account. So each client has to have an account and is linked to, to, to this client. Second thing is the campaign. So the campaign it's, is where, let's say, you decided what you wanna, what you wanna advertise. So it's going to be like, I don't know, which business unit of your client, of if your client has just one, one product, so this product can be sell in English, can be sell in Arabic, can be sell uh, like everywhere, or maybe you can do a campaign for each uh, Emirati, or I don't know, okay? Then there is the ad group. So at the ad group level, you go more in details. So you talk about one keyword, let's say one subject, and you link, you build to, I mean, you create a link between these keywords, the ad, and the relevant page. Let's take an example again. My client is a bag uh, producer, okay? So he produced like four lines of bags. So I have to do, let's say I do one campaign in English, but I want to do like four ad groups, which to promote the sport bags, to promote the, I don't know, the night bags, the bags in leather and whatever, okay? And each of them has to have like relevant ad text, so an ad that talk about these products, in association with the keywords that are relevant for these products, and a budget, okay? So I enter more in detail, exactly what I said before. So. At the campaign level, you decide the location and the langu language of targeting, okay? You decide the budget, so how much are you willing to spend each day for this campaign, and the network targeting. So I didn't, till now I just talked about um, uh, search, but we, through AdWords, you can also target other networks. So you can target other search partners, so local partners that are uh, running like search uh, engine, but they are serving through, through AdWords, or the display network, or YouTube. So this is something that I'm not covering here, but w once you will be able to like manage, let's say,